Hey guys, what's up? It's Zachary 2744 and today I'll be doing a complete tour slash how to use Cydia video. Now lots of you guys are probably thinking, especially if you're a beginner, possibly you've been using Cydia for a while or maybe have an iDevice that's been jailbroken for a while. Lots of you guys are probably thinking, why am I showing people how to use Cydia? Because it's really simple to use. Basically there's five tabs, you just navigate your way through, download whatever you want and all that stuff. But believe it or not, there's lots of people out there who don't know how to use Cydia and they really don't know what it's for, especially when they go out and jailbreak their iDevice and they wonder where all the themes are, where all the tweaks are and all that good stuff. Today I'm here to show you how to do all that stuff. Uh, another thing is I've received questions about some stuff in Cydia, like how to find certain things, how to enter repos and all that stuff. So I'll be showing you guys that in the video too. Uh, I've also been asked, even in school, how do I use Cydia? Cydia doesn't seem to work for me. So I'm here to show you guys all about Cydia and how you use it and all that good stuff. If you have questions, comments, or concerns about Cydia, and I didn't cover those in the video possibly, please be sure to go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll get back to that as soon as possible. I do usually reply to those comments. So basically, we're in Cydia here. Obviously, you do have to have a jailbroken eye device to get Cydia. And basically, City is where you're going to find everything for Jailbreak. So if you're wondering where everybody gets those cool themes, where they get those cool tweaks, all that free stuff, uh, it's all in City here. Of course, not everything in City is free. There are some paid things in which require you to actually pay for them with real money. And then there are some free things. And in most cases, everything, pretty much everything is free on City. Like I said, there are a lot of paid stuff, but for the most part, lots of stuff is free on City. Uh, so if you don't plan on spending money, I've never spent money on Cydia, uh, you can get things for free. So that's pretty cool. So basically on the home screen here, you're going to get the reload about. About basically shows you copyright contact and uh, website information. Cydia is made by Jay Freeman. Cool dude. Uh, basically you got follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter featured, themes featured, uh, Cydia store products, all this cool stuff, managed account, yes you can get an account with Cydia, you can't set it up on here, you have to go to some website, uh, it'll have some more featured content, it'll have some warnings, user guides, and credits and thank yous, that's basically the simple home menu, there's really nothing in there. Uh, now, the thing that I use most often is the sections menu here. Basically, it's going to have everything. It's going to have your add-ons. It's going to have your education. It's going to have your navigation. It's going to have all your apps. It's going to have all your tweaks. It's going to have all your themes in here. Uh, so let's just go down here to the theme section, as you guys can see right here. And they have app themes, complete themes, carrier themes, keyboard themes. In the case of keyboard themes, uh, don't try to mess with those because the majority of them don't work. There are some that I've seen people get to work. Uh, but most of the time they just flat out don't work. There's lock screen themes, which basically just themes your lock screen. Uh, and most of the times I use lock screen themes or complete themes. Uh, they have video themes, which allows you to have a video background. System themes, toys and tweaks is another cool thing. It allows you to do some really cool things with your iDevices. Uh, utilities, wallpapers, wallpaper for the iPad and widgets. Uh, so I'm going to basically show you guys an example of download. Basically, if you are interested in a section such as Complete Themes, just go ahead and click on there, and voila, you will see a huge list of every theme. You can scroll around here to find something, and I'm just going to go ahead and find something. Uh, let's just go ahead and click Mario theme here. You go ahead and select it. This is just an example. And you get all your information, who the author is, basically contact information. You get some ads here. That's how they keep Cydia free, I guess. Uh, it has some information there. Basically everything you need to know about the theme or tweak or whatever you're downloading. And then you want to go ahead and click install if you decide to get it. Some of them it'll say buy and then it'll have the price and you'll have to go ahead and buy it. Uh, but the majority of them are free and then you go ahead and click confirm. It'll tell you how much memory it'll take up and all that good stuff before you hit confirm. So basically here it's going to go ahead and download it. As you guys can see it's running, the process is running and it's downloading the Mario theme. I'm going to let it go through and download here. Hopefully it doesn't take forever because I am filming obviously. Downloading Mario theme. Alright, so then some white text shows up. It'll go ahead and finish the download. It'll go re reload data here. And then at the bottom here, it'll either say 
Reboot Springboard, but the most of the time it says Return to City. I really hope it does say Return to City. Because if it doesn't, that means I have to reboot my iPod in this video. Return to City. Return to City, I'll go ahead and click that. And now that is downloaded. So basically that's the sections and that's how you download it and that's how you get all your information and stuff. But you do not have to go through every section to find a theme or a tweak or whatever you're looking for. You can simply go to search and simply search it. Uh, you can type in descriptions. You guys can type in package names, whatever. Uh, basically any package will show up on here if you click search. Type it as it's shown if you're watching a jailbreak video and they're doing a review over a theme. I realize that lots of theme reviewers and jailbreak reviewers and all that good stuff, they actually go into Cydia and spend like half their video showing you how to get it by simply just typing it in and getting it. Or maybe they'll show you how to enter a repository, which I'll show you in later on in this video. Uh, but I don't show people how to do that because really it's not that hard. You just go to search, you go up here and you search it as it's written, and then you'll be able to get it. So that's as simple as that. If you can't find the package in the sections, you just go ahead and search it. Uh, so let's just go ahead and go to the next tab, which is Changes. And I'll go ahead and load here, and it'll give you available upgrades here. And it says I have one upgrade, and I can also refresh it if I need to do so. And it'll give me a huge list of everything that's new. As you guys can see, it was last updated on February 28th of 2011. Uh, new stuff is coming out all the time, and it's constantly growing. Uh, that's the way Jailbreak is. It's getting bigger and bigger as the versions go by. And as you guys can see, the new stuff is there. Let's go ahead and move on to the next tab, Manage. Now when you get into Manage, uh, first thing you're going to see is that you will have these settings and these three icons here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Settings. Uh, it'll give you the option to either go User, Hacker, or Developer. User is kind of a more broken down Cydia. Uh, hacker shows more and Developer shows everything on Cydia. User's more safe and stuff, but I usually use Developer. I'm on User right now because I reset it, my Cydia uh, completely because I wanted to clear everything, uh, but hacker and developer, I usually use developer because then it makes it so you can find everything and use everything. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. That's how you change it. I do recommend using hacker, but if you want to be safe, go ahead and just simply use hacker or developer. But uh, if you want to be safe, like I said, go ahead and click user. Basically, first icon, packages, it'll show everything that you've downloaded from Cydia here. And right there, as you guys can see, is the Mario theme in which I just first downloaded. Now, if you want to use themes, you guys have to use something that's called Winterboard. Uh, you'll go ahead and search it and find Winterboard, and it'll enable you to use themes. Uh, as you guys can see, it's all right here. And let's say I want to delete the Mario theme or customize it or get rid of it. Maybe there's something wrong with it. Maybe I want to view some information. Like I said, all the information and stuff will be right in here. And I can go to modify and I can reinstall or remove. I'm going to go ahead and click remove. Reinstall is basically if you install it and something's wrong with it. You guys can just go ahead and reinstall it. I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. Then I'm going to remove it. And it'll go ahead and remove itself from my Cydia. Reload data and allow me to return to Cydia here. Loading and return to Cydia. I'm going to go ahead and go back into the main menu here of manage. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and click into sources. Basically what sources is, is kind of like repos. If you guys don't know what that is, uh, basically if you hit edit and you click add, this is how you add a repo. You go ahead and type in the source, otherwise known as repo, and I'll go ahead and type it in here and you click add source. And I'll go ahead and add a source here. You guys can also click edit to delete all your sources and stuff if you want. As you guys can see, I have a Haculus source, a Big Boss source, Modern My Eyes source, and all these other sources. In which you type in a link and it will show everything from that person. So basically, Big Boss, uh, this is everything from Big Boss. So you, if you guys have a, a favorite jailbreak developer or a theme maker or whatever, you guys can go ahead and simply... Uh, be notified and find whatever they have in their sources if you want to add their source. Uh, basically, it's just an easier way to get things, and it's kind of an organization thing. If you guys like a certain developer, like I said, you they might have a repo out there, or source, I should say, in which you can find all their packages, themes, and all that good stuff. Uh, so that's kind of simple. 
and simply storage here. It'll show you what's left on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Basically, what memory you have left. If you ran out of memory, if you guys need to clear your Cydia or whatever, it'll give you uh, basically just show you everything once it loads up here. As you guys can see, I have 85.6% of my memory used, and I have 14.4% of it left, and it'll tell me all the stuff about my iDevice that I need to know memory-wise. Uh, basically, that's Cydia. It's how you add repos. It's how you search. It's how you find stuff. Like I said, if you guys can't find stuff in sections, you just go ahead and go to search, and simply search as it is seen, and that's about it. That's basically Cydia for you. Like I said, that's where you get all your cool stuff for your jailbroken iDevice. Uh, I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching this video, especially if you're a beginner. I really hope this was able to help you. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, questions that I possibly didn't answer in this video, please be sure to go ahead and comment in the comment section below, and I'll get back to those comments as soon as possible. I usually do reply within the first day of your comment. Uh, the Sagatardi 2744. Please be sure to rate, give it the good old thumbs up, Comment, like I said, and go ahead and subscribe. It helps show your support and to see more over the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Thank you guys for watching.